to rejoice and be glad. Yes. Because I realized yes. last Amen. night could have been Amen. my cooling boy. Yes. Yes. All right. This morning he allowed me to yes. rise from my sleeping car. Yes. Having the activity of my limbs and the yes. blood still running warm yes. in the vein, cold yes. in my right yes. mind, allowed me to travel to the busy, dangerous streets to get here uh -huh. safe without any hurt, Amen. harm, or danger. Amen. And I just want to stop to say, thank you, Lord. Thank you, thank you for being so good to me. Thank In spite you. of me, you've been good to me. Amen. Yes. 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 Amen. Yes. To God be the glory. Our scripture mm. will be coming from the book of Mark, 11th chapter. I want to turn back to a couple of pages. We already know that Jesus has risen from the dead. Well, after he, uh, before he's risen, there was a passion week. And there's some things that went on mm -hmm. that I just want to highlight for a few moments. Amen? Amen. Amen. Mark the 11th chapter, starting at verse 20. Mm -hmm. When you have it, say amen. Amen. If you need a little more time, say hold up. Hold up, hold up. <laughs> Mark, 11th chapter, 20th verse. Amen. And it reads thusly. In the morning, as they went along, they saw the fig tree <coughs> withered from the roots. Peter remembered and said to Jesus, Rabbi, look, the fig tree you curse has withered. Have faith in God, Jesus answered. Truly, I tell you, if anyone says to this mountain, go throw yourself into the sea, and does not doubt in their heart, but believe what they say will happen, it will be done for them. Therefore, I tell you, whatsoever you ask for in prayer, believe that you yes. have received yes. it, yes. Yes. and it will be yours. Yes. And yes. when you stand praying, if you hold anything against anyone, mm -hmm. All right. Forgive them so that your Father in heaven may forgive you your yes. sins. Yes. I like to use for a subject this morning have faith. Have faith in God. Yes. 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 Father, we bow in humble submission to your will that you will use me to your glory. Speak through me to these your people. Yes. Hide me behind the cross that they will see less and less of me and more and more of me. Have your way yes, in the name of Jesus I pray. Amen. 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 This story really begins earlier in the 11th chapter when Jesus first came to Jerusalem and he had went into the synagogue and looked around and then he left out of the synagogue and he was a little hungry and he looked at the fig tree and wanted some figs and there were no figs. Mm -hmm. Barren. And he cursed it. Well. <laughs> On Palm Sunday, just made he had just made a dramatic entrance into Jerusalem mm -hmm. and amidst crowds of Hosanna. Hosanna. He spent the day there. Well, yeah. Palm Sunday. Uh -huh. He made a direct entrance into Jerusalem. The twelfth, the morning, next morning, Jesus returned to the city, passing a fig <laughs> tree along the way, wanted a breakfast of fig. Mm -hmm. He was disappointed. The tree was barren. Mm. 
the disciples surprised, he cursed it. Mm. The next morning, Tuesday of the Passion Week, they found the tree withered. Mm. This is our Lord's only destructive miracle. Mm. But there were two reasons for it. The first was parabolical. The fig tree was a symbol of the Israelites who, despite the loving care of the divine gardener, bore no spiritual fruit, but withered spiritually in rejecting the Messiah. Lord oh, Jesus. Lord so Jesus. often Great we preacher. can walk up rightly before people and tell them of the good news of Jesus the Christ, and yet they still do not receive what we have given them from the Lord. Well, can I get an amen? Amen. 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 amen? amen, amen. The other reason was this. Christ was giving the disciples a lesson in faith so that in coming days, they themselves would not wither. Because they were getting ready to have this great trauma, he wanted to teach them to trust God. Yes, yes. We have here in this 22nd verse a command mm -hmm. for one syllable sharp words have faith in God. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Faith is the answer to challenges in life. When disappointment, have faith in God. He promised to bring good out of bad in the lives of his children. Yes. Yes. When you're angry, have faith mm -hmm. in God. Mm -hmm. He promised to settle the score on our behalf. That's right. When impoverished, have faith in God. Mm -hmm. He gives eternal life. Well, yeah. When lonely, have faith in God. Uh, he promised to be near. I'm a witness. Uh -huh. I'm a witness. Uh. The second thing he promised, he, he made a promise in verse 23. Mm -hmm. A true Jesus then used the occasion to explain faith. Whosoever says to this mountain, be removed and cast into the sea and does not doubt, he will have whatsoever he says. Mm. This seemed problematic. Most of us have never met anyone who literally moved a mountain. But well, remember, it's well, possible to trust God for something he does not ordain for us. Well, well, If it's God's will for us to uproot a mountain, he will give us the faith necessary to do the job. Well, but it's hard for us to have faith in this particular well, task because we can't imagine God asking us to do that. Jesus was just using this as an illustration. Mm -hmm. yes. Just as the fig tree was a parable, so this mountain represents specific challenges in our lives. Yes. 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 As well as big or unbelievable ones. Mm -hmm. Faith operates in two concentric circles. God's will and God's word. All right. All right, all right, all right. Whenever you're going through something, you can remember our Lord and Savior, Jesus the Christ. Yes. After yes. coming up out of the water, after being baptized, he went into the wilderness for 40 days and 40 nights. Yes. And on that 40th day, the enemy came to him and tempted him. And he asked him, if you be the Son of God, yes. 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 turn these stones into bread. And Jesus said to him, man does not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of God. Yes. God's will and his word will work for you if you just use it. Yes, yes, sir. yes. 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 The third thing comes out of this message is a procedure. Faith is activated in prayer. Yes. Whatever thing you ask when you pray, believe. Yes. Yes. And you will have them. Mm. All right, prayer is the mechanism by which we lay hold to God's provision for faith. Mm -hmm. yes. When we pray according to his will, his word, we claim that God has already granted. Yes. James spoke of the prayer of faith and nothing under heaven is more powerful than people of faith who 
on their knees with an open Bible trust God in this impossible situation. Yes. Come, on. Come, on. Come on now. Yes, yes, yes. And our final point is a hindrance. Finally, we notice that Christ inserts a negative word. Whenever you stand praying, you have anything against anyone, mm -hmm. forgive him or her. But if you do not forgive, neither will your Father in heaven forgive your trespasses. Yes. Mm -hmm. I had a friend speaking to him just the other evening, and he explained to me that he had had his brothers and sisters did some something very bad. They kind of tricked him out with some money after a relative. You know how people are when relatives die. God have mercy. Leave some money. God have mercy. <laughs> well, the cousins, and them, they all tricked him out of this money. And he said he had to go on a month a prayer of forgiveness. Mm. Mm. He had to forgive them well. and then had to ask God to forgive himself. Yes, sir. Yeah. He said that he went to their gathering Easter and the knot that was normally in his stomach was there because he had begun to do what God had asked yes. him to do. Well, if you well. have someone that you have some resentments for, some unforgiveness you have made in your heart, you have the opportunity to get right with not only yourself, but well. get right with the Lord <coughs> yeah. by forgiving them and I asking was, God was, to forgive you. Yes, sir. Yes, yes, sir. Yes. The disciples and the Lord were about to be badly abused. Jesus was warning that a cold, unforgiving heart would quench the fire of faith and destroy their effectiveness in prayer. Mm. Are you holding a grudge against someone? Mm. Do you have feelings of resentment? Mm. Those things are fire hose to faith. Oh, Forgive. Right. Release the anger. Remember the cross where Jesus died to forgive our sins and mm. those of others. Mm. Yeah. Jesus said, have faith in God. Yes. He gave us a command. He gave us a promise. He gave us a procedure. He gave us a hindrance. Do you have distress in your life today? Mm. Do you have a challenge? I tell you this moment. Have faith in God. Yes. Yeah. He's still on the throne. Yes. Yes. Have faith in God. He watches over his own. Yes. He cannot fail. He must prevail. Yeah. Have All right faith now. All right now, right. in God. Have faith in God. Yes. Though yes. the storms might be raging in your life. Mm -hmm. And sometimes it's hard to tell. The night uh, and day, still that hope that lies within yes, is reassuring. As I keep my eyes upon the distant shore, yes. I know yeah. He'll lead me safely to that blessed place He has prepared. Yes. But if the storms don't yes. cease, yes. and if the winds just yes. keep yes. on blowing in the heart, yes. my soul has been yes. anchored in the Lord. Yes. Sometimes in this life we're going to be tossed yes, by the yes, waves yes, and the yes, currents of this you, seems so yes, fierce. Yes. But the word of God, yes. I've got an anchor. Yes, yes. Oh yes, I've yes, got an anchor. Yes, yes, it keeps yes. me steadfast, yes. unmovable, yes. despite the tide. Oh, but if the yes. storm don't cease and the no. winds no. keep on blowing in my life, no. my soul no. has no. been anchored in the Lord. No. Yes.
Yes. So I remind you this morning, have faith. Yes. Yes. Have faith in yes. God. Holy yes. Spirit. Some people trust in chariots. Well, Some people trust in their bank accounts. Yeah. Some people trust in a whole a lot of things. Yeah. But they forget to trust in the one who is the true God. Yes. They forget to trust in God who is the creator of everything that is, was, and evermore to be. I just yeah. dropped by to tell you, in spite of what you're going through, My in Lord. spite of what it looks like, right. in spite of what it feels like, in spite of what they're telling you, remember that you can have your, you can have God in your life if you just have faith in God. And he will bring you through. He will never leave you, nor will he forsake you. He will never leave you, nor will he forsake you. He's a present help in the time of trouble. Have faith in God. Have faith in God. Amen. All three Amen. scriptures, the same message from Genesis to Revelation. Yes. Have, faith Have faith in God. As you say, He may not come <laughs> when you want it. Right. He may Robinson. not come Robinson. when you Robinson. want it, yeah. but He's always, always. on time. Amen. Have faith in God. Maybe that's somebody here. Amen. We know that uh, after the message has gone forth, it's customary that we give the invitation to Christian discipleship. We don't take it for granted that everyone here has been saved. Salvation is having a personal relationship with yes. the Lord. It's not just about joining the church. That's good, but the thing that you want is to have this personal relationship with the Lord. Yes. So that when the trials of life raging in your life and the storms of billowing, you have someone that you know that is able to help you and to bring you through. Right. So we offer you the opportunity this morning. If you're here and you have never confessed Jesus Christ is your Lord and Savior. We're offering you the opportunity to come and make and have a personal relationship with him today. Is there one here who would love to give their heart to the Lord? Is there one? We're offering you that opportunity. See, because right now this is your hour. This is your moment. You could leave here and this could be your last. So we want you to leave here with the blessing and assurance that Jesus is yours. Is there one? Is there one who will come and give their life to the Lord? Now it's come, yet still there's room at the cross. To Jesus. I surrender all to Him, I freely give. Really, pleasure's on the side. I will ever love myself to take.
praying, Father God, that you would meet the needs of each and every one under the sound of my voice. We pray that you would build them when they're torn down and strengthen them when they're weaker, Lord. And probably more upon every being inside. We pray for all of those family members who have not accepted you as Lord and Savior of their life. We pray that we will walk uprightly before them and give them such an example that they might say, What must I do to be saved? We thank you, O oh God, thank for what you're doing you. and what you're going to do on our behalf, O oh God. We ask that you will continue to give us knowledge of your will for us and the power to carry it out. We pray your blessings upon the man of God that you've placed here to lead these your people, O oh God. Blessing from the crowns of his head to the soles of his feet. Build him where he's torn down and strengthen oh, him where he's weak. Yeah. Prop him up on every lean inside in the oh, name of Jesus. Oh, as you give him a fresh anointing of your oh, spirit. Oh, Don't forget about the woman that you placed to walk oh, by the Continue you, to bless her and keep her in honor and sustain as only you can, oh God. Thank as she you, continues to walk by his side. Yes. And Father God, we pray for the ministry of the Lord, that you will continue to bless Reverend Campbell in this Father God. Father Continue God. to keep him and lead Lord him and guide him where you have him to go. Bless the God. deacon and the deaconesses, oh God. Bless the choirs and the musicians, oh God. And Ooh. then, Father God, bless Father the God. congregation, oh God. Lord Bind God. us together in one yeah, way. Our prayers, Father God. Flowing from heart to heart and breast to breast. Let us Father love one another for yes. your word yes. has declared yes. that you will know them by yes. the love that they share one to another. Allow your spirit to have free course as you build us, lead us, and guide us, giving us knowledge of your will and the power to carry it out. So we thank you, thank you, and praise you, and we glorify you, and we exalt you because you're worthy, you're worthy, you're worthy. And everyone that loves the Lord say, Amen, Amen, Amen. Amen.